For usual, Living Honest Chaos for educational purposes only is not intended as financial advice. It's Teaching Tech Tuesday. Let's talk about the Commitment of Traders or COT report today as we get a little deeper in the weeds on market positioning. So the COT data is a weekly report that's posted by the CFTC of U.S. futures markets, of which Bitcoin and ETH both apply, as well as a few other alts likely soon, eventually. I think Solana futures just launched launched not too long ago. The report itself is split into various categories. If we look at the report, this is, uh, you know, it started in uh, 1962 and it looks like it hasn't changed since 1962. So this is the raw data of the positioning and you'll see commercial, non-commercial, long, short spreads, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of hard to get a feel for what exactly is going on here when you're looking at the raw data, but it does help you see who's doing what. Commercials in the crypto world would be miners. Small spec, small speculators would be retail. And then large speculators would be hedge funds, money managers, that sort of thing. In general, positioning for retail, for small speculators, positioning for large speculators is usually incorrect. As in, if you know that retail is mega long, you typically don't want to be on the same side as retail. Now, I wouldn't use this solely as a trading long short vehicle, but as a data point in the tool belt, it is very, very useful. And I'll put some more links to what exactly the COT report is and when it started, if you're curious. But mainly this is used by people to determine positioning and back testing. And okay, when small specs were super long, what happened? When commercials were super short, what happened? When commercials flipped from long to short, what happened? That's one way to think about this is based on backtesting, based on history, is there any signal at all for any individual market? And then as a group, collectively, for all markets, is there a general signal to pay attention to? And of course, Jason Shapiro from Crowded Market Report is the king of this stuff, at least that I'm aware of. Super interesting guy, runs his own fund using strategies around COT data provides some interesting commentary. This isn't an ad for his service, but if you're looking for more information on the COT stuff, he talks all about it all the time. The difference between his charts, if we go to the Bitcoin chart, his charts and the raw data is you can sort of see over time what has happened and then you add price onto this and then you can say, okay, commercials were long from the beginning of Q4 until the end of Q4. What happened during that period? Well, the market went up a lot. Commercials were also long Q4 into Q1, 2024, 2023. What happened then? So the first step on this stuff, you know, if we go to ETH or if we go to Solana or if we go to some other alt down the road years from now when you're watching this video, it's always important to determine first on backtesting if there's even enough data, is this stuff even useful at all for the individual asset? Jason will tell you that he doesn't trade Bitcoin, at least to my knowledge, off of this data for the fund because there hasn't been enough backtesting yet, even for him. But what he'll also say that I've noticed is that it's fairly correct in that what do we want to see most of the time for the long side? We want to see commercials long in the red there, the blue bar, large speculators. We want them to be short because they're usually wrong. And we want the yellow, the small specs. We want them to be short or as flat as possible. When the small spec, when, when retail gets super long, it's usually the end. When retail gets super long, it's usually the beginning of reversal. On top of this, he also uses uh, what he calls news failures. And if you're curious, he explains that further. But just on the data piece here, currently, and even since mid-December, unsurprisingly, commercials have been mostly short. And what has happened to the market? It's gone mostly down. Last week, we had retail flip short, shorter. And this is the shortest they've been in a long time, if ever. He's got data since inception on this stuff, but retail is very short. Commercials also very short, which is not what we want to see and large specs very long up here. So mixed signals at the moment. So what he would likely say here is there is not a trade to take. There's not a great risk reward setup because the general idea behind understanding the positioning is that as the shorts from the large specs unwind, that pushes price higher. 
Another thing he'll tell you is that the basis trade is irrelevant to this. Again, on backtesting, that's what it's all about. You can yell about the basis trade till you're blue in the face. It doesn't matter. On backtesting, based on his observations, it's just as effective for any asset. So if you're interested more in this COT stuff, definitely give him a follow on uh, YouTube. He does all this stuff for free. But again, if we compare what happened to price when commercials were long, price went up. Down When commercials were short, it's harder for price to go up. You have to see this evolve over time to sort of believe that it's a useful data point. And you have to see it week by week to understand, okay, does this make sense? Does this match with expectations? So again, I wouldn't use it solely as a data point, but it's a very interesting data point to consider and to look at. I haven't found any great indicators on TradingView, but there's some other free resources I'll point to in a second here for the BTC side. Before I go any further, let me mention today's video sponsor, Kraken Pro. Kraken Pro is a complete overhaul Kraken trading experience with one-stop shop for advanced and professional traders. Kraken Pro enables efficient trading execution across multiple markets with a UI that allows for unique optimization tailored to our trading style. You can check out Kraken Pro with the link in the description of this video. Not investment advice, crypto trading involves risk of loss. Cryptocurrency services are provided to US and US territory customers by Pair Adventures Inc, PBI, DBA, Kraken. The COT data is kind of similar to what most traders have been using since 2013 on various futures exchanges to see positioning. Recently, over the past week, it's been a very large 300 million, 500 million short or something that the market was thinking it was going to margin call and that position ended up closing. That's on a more local level. So all of it can be useful, but I certainly wouldn't make a singular trading decision on positioning of any kind in any market. So looking at technicals here, we are trend bearish. We're below the cloud, not where we want to be. It would not surprise me that if and when we get back above 94 into Q2, potentially, that's really the quickest this recovery can be is sometime into April and beyond. If we start to flip, then it is probably more likely that the commercials, the miners start to take hedges off. They start to become less short and more net long relative to their current positioning. A similar was the case back in Q4 last year. So being hedged and having hedges on as the natural seller, as the miner makes a lot of sense still to me based on this, right? Now, this doesn't always go hand in hand. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And it's always best when all the stars align, right? You've got technicals on your side. You've got a news catalyst. You've got a date, the election, ETFs, whatever, right? You've got a bunch of stuff in alignment together that has reset or is resetting to allow for a bigger move. So we're not quite there yet for BTC. One other thing Jason talks about is just the magnitude at which these bars are long or short. The risk reward is always greatest when, for instance, large speculators on a net basis are mega short. In the small spec bars generally are never net short. So it's pretty rare to see them net short here. But again, you want those as, as tiny as possible. You don't want retail super long because they're usually late and they're usually wrong. So you want to be on the opposite side of that. As far as some free resources, just Googling around, you can find a bunch of stuff similar to his data that's free out there. Again, I'll put all the links in the description of this video. Cot reports for Bitcoin is one on the block. So it is a data point I look at. It is a data point I think is useful. And it is a data point that is probably worth understanding because the last thing you want to do is not know about a signal that is has a decent hit rate and then just be completely out of position for that, right? Now, Bitcoin can go up or down regardless of what the COT data says, but it's generally have, going to have a more explosive move up or down relative to long or short squeeze potential, which is essentially what this is measuring. How many people could get out, caught off sides here and who is usually wrong? Just go on the other side of that. That's what Jason will tell you. That's all I have for this one. Like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe, and happy trading.